Okay, you guys gotta shoot down the enemy planes. the video that we took a couple weeks ago at night in the dark and you can see it all lit up and we thought it was oil refineries well yep I'm pretty sure that's what it is about being traveling like this and being down in Texas is being from New England when we see independence or revolution or any of those words we've just been yeah we've been seeing that here and my thoughts keep going to the Revolutionary War and it up in um, you know in the New England area the uh, revolution from um, from England back in you know the War of Independence but being here it's so cool because it's actually our independence or this area is independence from Mexico so it's a totally different whole different world down here see it's hot. Remember there the it ferry? Is. we passed the ferry the ferry oh passed that was it. a different boat what was that called I don't know This battleship was from World War One and World War Two. And there goes a barge. Wow. It's gonna hit that boat. No, they'll stay out of the way. I wonder what's on that. Stuff. <laughs> Stuff, yeah. Come here, Tim. Off the deck. Off the deck. You did a good job, guys. You only got like, I don't know, another 500 feet. That, that's <laughs> just like that first deck. This is like, this is like three decks down. So, now we just have. Okay, you guys gotta shoot down the enemy planes.
through into the bunk. Okay, here we go. Next coming at Christmas aboard the ship. Lockers. The movie locker. They show movies on a large screen on the main deck, usually while the ship was in port. The crew might watch the same film for several months before they could trade movies with other ships for words. Oh, wow. I'm coming all the way there. Yep. Come, come along. The barber shop! Yeah. Nicholas spotted the barber shop, Mom. It's in the physician's office the right now. The apothecary. The executive books. office. Where the second in command was. Daddy, that's the barber shop. Barber shop. Got to keep them soldiers looking sharp. This will be the dentist or something, right? Dispensary and medical office. Oh, operating room. Ooh. Imagine being operated on here. Yeah, Bumping around. This is in addition to her own crew, large ships oh, like Texas has provided medical support for smaller ships. In emergencies, the wardroom and crew berth would be pressed into service to make ship operating. Oh, that's the that soda shop. Yeah, that's neat. Should be high drinking straws. That's mm -hmm. cute. Hey, <laughs> Squeeze through it. Laundry room. Spooky scene, I guess, because like, it's almost like they left it. Yeah, it like does. it's in like. There's the crew washroom. <laughs> wow. This is creepy. Hello! 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 The toilet. <laughs> Can you imagine what it must have smelled like in here? This is That is pretty nasty. Bullets. That's what you take from machine gun. Put in the machine gun. Uh, that's the uh, magazines. Gotcha. This is jail. Oh, look at the guys up their food stuff here. I think this is jail. I'm pretty this sure this is jail. Is jail. No. I don't think so. I think it's just supposed to look like what it really looked like. It's so unappetizing. Oh my goodness. All right, this gives me a much greater appreciation. <laughs> But they still have candy! Vets. They still have candy! Yeah, well, I don't think that candy would make up for the rest of that stuff that they had there. Well, yeah. they have potatoes and soup! Oh, that's funny. Mommy, that's potato and soup. And it's like a stroganoff of some sort. Due to extreme Isolation. close quarters aboard the ship, it was invitedly important to isolate criminals with communicable diseases to prevent illness. Isolation will contain a case of dysentery or a few individuals. Yeah, that's fair. They were in bed and they couldn't get out. Oh, that's what they called a bedpan. Look at that bedpan. This is not made out of metal. It's not. It's a cover. They still have their Christmas tree here from those many years ago. So this monument is built on the site of the San Jacinto um, battle, and this was the last battle of the war um, between Mexico and the U.S. and Texas, and it was in retaliation for the um, the Battle of the Alamo. Pretty cool. We have the imprints of shells. They have a couple of shells mixed in there. Oh, I found a shell. Is there a And there's the battleship we were just on. Actually, go to the top of the monument, and they have a museum as well. Let's check it out. You have to pay for a pass.
this. Look. It's fun to see this stuff because the kids are going to be learning about this in history very soon. Look up, look at the camera and tell me where you want to go. I'm going to go in the alligator. The alligator? Mm-hmm. Oh. It goes way back up. It goes way back up? Mm-hmm. But I thought the alligator was like a crocodile and it eats you. Mm-hmm, I'm going there. But that's not an alligator. The diorama's on the other side of the room. That's John Adams, right? Looks like <laughs> Museum of the Spanish Mexican Texan history. Of course, when you have young children with you, you don't get to read much of any of it. But it's better to be able to see it than not. Battle of San Jacinto. Fought on April 21st, 1836. Final battle of the Texas Revolution. Huh. A replica of the ship that we were just in. Kind of cool. Put the little airplanes on it. Looks like the wings folded. Yeah. Oh.